friends, we got another vintage video. This is a really old and really sticky Windsor and Newton from about the 1950s. Uh, typically, if it just says London, England on the top of the bottle, it's from the 50s or later. Um, the earliest catalog I have is from like 1949, and that says Rathbone Place on the side, which is where their address is. Anyway, uh, history that's your history lesson for the day. Um, I got some really old Elizabeth and Crimson. And it is an extremely tiny bottle of alizarin crimson. And normally I wouldn't use these very tiny bottles because I kind of like them for a display and to use them on my future project of painting something in only vintage stuff. But um, I figured this, since this is my only vintage alizarin crimson, and one, alizarin crimson is not light cast, and I have, and B, I have a lot of vintage red paints that aren't alizarin crimson, I am just gonna this is going to take one for the team and yeah and we're going to compare it with modern Windsor and Newton Alizarin Crimson which is made in France because to hell with Brexit I guess I don't know why they moved to France um but yes we're going to have a little vintage comparison video and here's a little close-up of the bottle with the Windsor and Newton cap and this is a really it had some leakage problems in transport and it has oh, it stuck to my glove there we go just a little bit. It has the little lion logo made in England. Um, yeah. It's going to be sticking to my glove this entire time. And this is the first time I'm actively opening this thing. Ooh. Yeah. We are not going to put too much pressure on this too because it is very old and very small. And I got some on my glove. It's going to be sticking to myself the whole time, and we're going to have a little bit of that. Windsor and Newton, the vintage bottles, holds up really well over time. Oil paint is only supposed to have a shelf life of 30 years, but Windsor and Newton bucks that trend. And the vintage Windsor and Newton will apparently just last forever. So, we got a little bit of that. I got some on my glove. I got some on my glove. Because this bottle is leaky at old. Now we're going to mix with some... I don't think it matters which titanium white we're going to use for this. So we got some Michael Harding. Because that's what we're doing today. We're going to put a little bit. Because eh, there's not a lot of red out on the tube. Just, just a little bit of white. Eh, okay. That is creamy. That's a very nice rosy color. Yeah. Look at that. That is a very nice, very nice color there. Now we're going to clean that off. I forgot to pull my garbage can out before this, so you're going to hear some noises. Yay. Oop. Clean it off to void. Clean. A happy palette brush is a clean palette. Palette brush, what am I saying? A happy palette knife is a clean palette knife. There we go. I can speak words. Now we got the modern Ozone and Crimson. I anticipate because A, this is made in France and not in England, and B, it's been about a hundred year difference between these two little things. Um, okay, maybe 80 years, because it's 2023 now, and not 2050 yet. Ooh. And see how much this has changed. I anticipate there's probably been at least like one, one, formula change but hey that's not bad actually it's pretty close it's nigh identical to ancient alizarin crimson that might have been too much white <laughs> i just pooped some out come on close bottle why do i have problems closing bottles and yeah that's slightly different but not by much okay alizarin crimson maybe didn't change that much over over the past 80 something years. Yeah, that's actually okay. We have learned something today. A lizard crimson has not changed one bit in the past 80 years, but now we know, and that's good. Um, do you think I should make this with some blue and see what greens come out of it, but that would involve putting more. Yeah, okay, let's get some blue. Let's get some blue. What do we got? We got, what do we have here? Okay, we're doing this. We got some. Ultramarine blue from Old Holland that I accidentally dropped on the floor and made a little bit fucked up the top there. Yeah! Okay. Let's clean off that palette knife. Yeah. 
This five minute video is now an eight minute video. We're gonna take out a little bit more of this very old and very sticky little poop. There we go, just a little bit. There's not much in these bottles. I don't wanna like squeeze it out to death. And there's still plenty to use perhaps. Yeah. Now we're gonna mix it with some Maybe I should have gotten a lighter blue? I don't know. I have like King's blue and all the... And that weird sapphire blue from Old Holland. But... Yeah. We're gonna add a little bit of white into that. Because <laughs> I can't see a thing! Look at that little purple. Yeah. We got a little bit of purple. Like a... It's a plummy shade. Okay. Now we clean that off. Boop. Yeah. Now we got the modern one. Gotta put that down on the bottom. That's fine. <laughs> Maybe a little more. We'll find out. Got some... Whoop. Come on. Something about Old Holland, like it stiffens very quickly, which is a little concerning. Because usually stiffening tends to happen over time and not immediately. Maybe it's their quality. Old Holland's supposed to be real good quality, so I don't know. Hmm. A slightly different purple. Interesting. So yeah, apparently I'm trying to get out of the shadow. Ultramarine, uh, what am I saying? Ultramarine blue. Alizarin Crimson has not changed one bit over the past 80 years. I anticipated at least like one formula change or something, but eh, what do you know? It's exactly the same. It even makes generally the same purple. I might have added too much white to one or the other, because this is definitely a different shade of purple than this, but eh, yeah. We have learned something. Generally, stop sticking to things. Generally, I find these on eBay, usually in big boxes. Just search Windsor Newton Vintage, Windsor Newton Box. It's not always listed as oil paint. I found this one in a big lot marked as art supplies because apparently they didn't know what oil paint was maybe. Um, so yeah. You can, easily, you can more or less easily get these vintage tubes. It's just a little bit more expensive than the modern ones for obvious reasons. And yeah. Maybe you too can paint something vintage-y with all vintage supplies one day. I will eventually do it once I get some vintage titanium white, which is the only thing stopping me at this point. I somehow have three ivory blacks. Anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye.